So there's this book. I was talking last night at dinner about this book. Free your mind. There's a war for control of your mind. It's time to fight back. What I got from it is we're being brainwashed in a level we can't even comprehend. We think we're smart. We don't stand a chance. I'm a filmmaker. I mean, I shot music videos. I, I knew how to use color and light and make girls look sexy and make men want things and make girls want things. And I knew how to make people feel shit. People were oblivious. They said, I loved it. She's amazing, he's amazing. I'm like, yeah, isn't that cool? I knew what it took technically to make that happen. If we don't understand what we're dealing with, we don't stand a chance. We have to, have to, have to learn these patterns. And I heard some of the questions before about you know, how do we fix this. I mean, I do believe one of the ways is we have, to, we have to learn what the patterns are. Everybody is so, as Richard said, so fixated on this political party and that political party that they're missing the pattern. They see it here, but they don't, seem the, I, they don't see the identical thing happening over here because I believe in this person. This person's good. They would never do it. They're not really doing the same pattern. Yes, they are, right? So, so the one thing is seeing the pattern. But the other thing that they bring up in this book, and I think a lot of people have brought up, in fact, Richard and I have had this conversation as well, is you have to find your moral center. And this is, a, this is the beginning of one of the chapters. I think it's the last chapter. If you don't follow your own map, someone else will direct the journey for you. The solution is to determine your own values and rules for life, which remain set in stone as a bulwark. Bulwark? Bulwark? How do you say that? Good enough. <laughs> Against the chaos of life, else you look for certainty in the arms of the brainwasher. There's, a, there's a, a, a lack of a moral center. I'm not saying God here. I'm just saying a lack of a moral center, what is good and, what is good and bad. And what, you, what you're seeing on a societal level, you know the people that get obsessed with the next current thing. They just switch whatever they're told. This is the current thing. They switch to that thing. They switch to that thing. They switch to that thing. Switch to that thing. 